Data Terrain System tool does pixel-perfect report conversion across multiple BI systems. The following demo would walk you through the Discoverer to OBIEE answers migration. In this demo, we are going to see how the Discoverer metadata and reports are converted into its equivalent OBIEE, RPD, and reports. Discoverer Administrator is the tool for designing the metadata file called EUL. We are going to consider the video tutorial EUL as our sample. Connect to the database in which the sample was created. Click on Open an Existing Business Area option and you can find the video tutorial EUL. Select the checkbox and click Finish. The video tutorial EUL is now open and its business layer is visible to us. Each folder in the business layer is a representation of a database table or view. Looking at the properties of the folder, you can find out more details like the DB table name, the owner to which this table belongs, name and description. Clicking on the Dependents option, we can see the dependent complex folders of the selected folder. The dependent columns in these complex folders condition and joins. You can also see the database columns of the table or view and the dependent reports. Moving on to the Hierarchies tab, you can find out the default date hierarchy levels and the hierarchies that are available in this EUL. These are the features of the Discoverer Metadata EUL. Now opening the reports, which are called as Workbooks in Discoverer, is designed using the tool Discoverer Plus. In this workbook sheet, we are viewing a normal table, page item with formatting. There is a page item in this sheet, which filters the data based on the selected value. All the text formattings and layout formattings are done to the report. With this EUL and workbook as a sample, let us visualize how the migration to OBIEE takes place by using the Data Terrain System Automation Engine to execute the migration, follow the commands. Enter the Discoverer Admin Tool EXE file path. This is the file path of your Discoverer Administrator executable. Enter the system file path where the extracted output has to be saved. Enter the database credentials in which the EUL and the workbooks are saved. Enter the username which has access to the EUL and workbooks. Then enter the password and the SID of the database. The extraction from the database has started, and the output will be saved in the location which was mentioned in the previous step. Extraction completed, and the RPD conversion has started. The OBIEE admin tool file path has to be given as input to this step. The RPD conversion completes within a few seconds and end with a message saying that EUL migration successful and RPD conversion completed. As soon as the RPD conversion is completed, the report conversion starts. In the output file path, we can see the converted RPD. For the reports conversion, we need to input the Data Terrain System Utility File Path and Config File which drives the conversion of the reports. The subject area name of the RPD has to be set. The host and port name of the OBIEE server, login credentials for the OBIEE server, folder location in which the converted reports has to be saved, and a file path to write the conversion log. After all these configurations are made, the config file is given as the last input to the automation tool, and there starts the reports conversion. In a few seconds of waiting time, the conversion ends with a message, Discoverer to OBIEE migration complete. Now it's time to validate the converted files to ensure apples to apples conversion. Open the RPD in the OBIEE admin tool. It does not require any password unless we set one. Drill down the physical layer of the RPD. You can see the schema under which the EUL was residing. The physical tables and columns are converted from the EUL. Exploring the physical diagram of the RPD, you can see that the relationship between the tables are established as same as in the EUL. 
the join expression and keys are also converted without any difference when compared to the EUL. Moving on to the business layer, we can see the hierarchies and the logical tables being converted. Opening a logical table, we can see the logical columns and the keys been set for the logical columns. The aggregated columns are also converted correctly. Drilling down a logical hierarchy, we can see the logical levels and the columns at each level that is same as the EUL hierarchies. By viewing the business layer diagram, we can clearly see the fact and dimensional modeling of the logical tables forming a star-like structure. Opening a logical join, we can find the type of the join and the cardinality between the two tables. The logical joins are always complex joins. The presentation layer is the one which is exposed to the user. The folders and column structure, naming conventions, are exactly as same as the business layer of the EUL, so that the users will be comfortable in using the new environment. The aggregate columns are converted as per the configuration for the easier usage in reports. So, this is for the EUL to RPD conversion. Let us move on to see the converted reports and validate them. Cross the host name and the port name of the OBIEE server from the config file to ensure that the server is alive. Click on Catalog and find the folder in which the converted report is available. This is similar to a workbook in Discoverer. We can see an exact conversion of the sheet into a report tab with page item. The formattings and layout designing conversion has also been done. The validate the page level filter is also done, and the filtering happens in the OBIEE reports as same as in the Discoverer report. This is a table layout conversion sample with all possible formatting options enabled. The data also matches perfectly for the compared between the source and the destination BI environments. The headers and other formattings also matches perfectly. Thus, Data Terrain System Automation Engine archives apples to apples conversion in the complete migration of Discoverer to OBIEE. This completes the Discoverer to OBIEE conversion demo.